Welcome to Out and About with Toby. This is Shelter in Place 8. Can you believe that? I see in the comment section that a lot of people want spare ribs. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to have some spare ribs. Here are our cryo vac packed spare ribs. Isn't that pretty? Regularly 1911, we got it for 848. So let's first, let's wash this thing off. Wash the stinky ribs off. Let's take it in sections between the rim right here. See this thing, I want to get rid of this. I just want the ribs and then I want to do something with this later. So first you have to make a cut down here at the central giblet. This is what I like doing. Do this to the ribs so they're more manageable on the grill. This is going through cartilage. Look at that. Watch your fingers. Remember the Ginsu? This isn't one of those. It's pretty sharp. I think it would slice my finger off. This is pretty much a sheath of meat. We'll do something memorable with this. Let's spice these babies up. First, we're gonna put some crushed red peppers. Then we're gonna put some garlic salt. Then we'll put just some garlic. Good for the blood, you understand. Then we're gonna put some of this grilled master hamburger shit for no reason at all. Hopefully it'll taste good. A little pepper. Oop. Yeah, that's fine. And something I think I only do, or I don't know if I've ever seen anyone else do it. I'm gonna put a little bit of cornmeal in here. My logic is it interacts with the fat and gets crispy. I'm experimenting. I put a little bit of flour in there too, and cornstarch just for the hell of it. I don't know. It's like the barbecue. We're here in the out and about barbecue shack. We're using Kingsford Mesquite today. It creates a lovely smoke. We're back in the out and about kitchen, and we're gonna make some long grain brown rice. <laughs> Two cups of water, one cup of rice. Two parts water, one part rice. That's two cups right there. Let's make all the rice. We're gonna need not quite eight cups of water. Two, three, four, which makes eight, not quite eight. And bring her to a boil. And then we're gonna let it simmer for like 50 minutes. That's what she says. And we're gonna also add some salt. How do you like that? Good deal. Coals are just about ready. Let's get the show on the road. We should go check on the rice. That's a shitload of rice. Why'd I make so much rice? We'll use it. We not want not skibbly dee. I think we should go check on the barbecue. You can't just leave it alone, you know, crazy barbecue. It's looking mighty nice. A lot of people are excited about that. Look at how delicious they look. It's time to take this shite rama inside and make dinner. Let's make a plate. I'm gonna cut up some of these jalapenos first, and then I'm gonna put some rice on the plate. Splash of color. Generously. There's the finished product. Let's give it a shot. Mm. The rice is a little undercooked. The ribs are okay. Let me try a bigger piece. Tender. Hey, so thanks for joining me again. Take care, stay healthy, and we'll see you next episode. I know. That lovely taste of Kingsford mesquite. Light up the bag and enjoy. And remember kids, don't light your barbecue indoors, if you know what I mean. <coughs>